the SATs do a good job, once again, in um, accurately reflecting how the student is going to do in the first two year of college or throughout college in general. Um, according to Andrew Hacker from smartlibrary.org, yeah, he says clearly um, it is not a measure of intelligence, rather the SAT scores simply reflect how adept people are at taking that kind of test. He writes, in fact, studies have shown that SAT scores are no way predictable person's future achievement. Also, according to Laura Bueno from USA Today, the high school grade point average is the best predictor of how students enter college, and the SAT as the, the admissions officers at the schools that dropped the test this year. They are seeing 20% to 25% of applicants who choose not to submit an SAT or ACT score this year, therefore saying that they can analyze who to choose or whom not to accept to their college based on extracurricular activities, grade point averages, student recommend, uh, professor recommendations for students, uh, volunteering hours, etc. Also, when my opponent presented the Joan Marshall example, that example favors our resolution due to the fact that it forces universities to look at the different classes and the different um, weight that the A's or B's or whatever grade the students might have received way due to the different subjects or schools or how the teacher teaches the class, etc. Also, according to Elizabeth Landu from CNN News, making the test optional removes the barrier for those students who had everything else like scholastic achievement and extra skill activities, but who maybe didn't do as well on specific tests. Um, this was said by um, Elizabeth Landu quoted Martha Alman, a director of admissions at Wake Forest University. Um, this explains how also the test was optional or completely eliminated for that matter. It, it would allow more students to be accepted into more universities. Also, again by Laura, Laura Bueno, uh, whether they get a 1300 or 1250 doesn't really tell you anything about them as a person or a student says Ken Himmelman, Bennington, Dean of Admissions, all the attention to numbers becomes so crazy it's almost a distraction. Again, saying that because the SAT is necessary, it makes it takes away from other attention such as grades, extracurricular activities, it doesn't fully assess how the student is going to perform in that specific college. Also, going against our opponents about how they think the SAT is not biased, um, Tobin Par Parshaw wrote on Charles Murray that hence the final reason for getting rid of the SAT, knowing the scores, is to despairing for those who do poorly and to inspiring for those who do well. In an age when intellectual talent is increasingly concentrated among young people who are also privileged economically and socially, the last thing we need are numbers that give these very, very lucky kids a sense of entitlement, meaning that they shouldn't feel more powerful or less powerful due to a grade that doesn't accurately reflect how they would perform in college. And yeah, thank you. All right, thank you.